Hey guys, welcome to another video. Today we're going to do a service on a lawnmower. In this video, we're going to look at the maintenance on a lawnmower and we're going to look at four items on this mower. Firstly, we'll start off with changing the oil. Secondly, looking at the air filter. Thirdly, looking at the spark plug and cleaning it if needed. And lastly, we're going to sharpen the blade on the lawnmower. So stay tuned. Hopefully you'll learn something from this video. So we'll start off with the oil change on this lawnmower. Now at the back here, we've got a fill and drain plug. And this also doubles as a dipstick. And on the bottom of this lawnmower, we've also got a drain plug. So I'll just tip this up. And you can see the drain plug there just at the top. Now you'll need to consult your manual on your specific mower type or motor on the mower and just work out the fill and drain plug locations so you're able to drain and fill the oil on your lawnmower. Now I think the cleanest process for this is to get this up onto stands and we'll drain the motor oil from the bottom of the mower. Now before we get started we're just going to unplug the spark plug lead. Now what that does is by unplugging this it'll minimize the risk of this motor firing. If you're working under the mower and you spin the blade around there's a chance that it could fire. So by unplugging this just minimizes that risk. So we'll just get in and unnip this oil drain plug here. So just to your left to loosen. Okay. Now we just want to loosen this plug enough just so when we've got it up on stands, it just makes it a bit easier to undo. So that's undone now. We'll just leave it at that and we'll get this up onto stands. Okay, so we've got the lawnmower up on its axle stands here. We're just going to need some oil. So I've already got oil over here. Now this is just a SAE 30 weight oil. You'll just need to consult your manual to see what oil type you're meant to use in your lawnmower. And we're just going to need a oil pan to drain the waste oil into. So we'll just pop that under here. And we just need to undo that drain plug. Now before we start on the drain plug under the mower, I'm just going to loosen this top filler plug. Now that'll just allow that air flow through just when we're draining the oil. So we'll just give that enough time just to drain out. I'll just leave it sitting here just for a couple of minutes or so just to make sure all that oil is drained out of the motor. Now we're pretty much drained all this old oil out of this lawnmower here. Now I'm just going to flush a bit of new oil through it. So I'm just going to pop a funnel in the filler hole here and just tip a bit of new oil through it and just let that drain through. So when you're doing this, before you tip any new oil into the lawnmower, just make sure that your funnel that you're using is clean. So we'll just pop that into the lawnmower. And we're just going to tip some new oil into this. And that will just drain through the, the mower. And once that's drained through, then we'll put the plug back in and put the new oil in. Now when doing this plug up, you don't want to over tighten this so you don't strip any of the threads. So just get a feel for it. Basically you just want to do it up until it stops and not go past that point. So you're just basically nipping this um, plug up. So that's about it for this one. 
Now I don't know what quantity of oil this lawnmower takes. Normally I just tip in um, a small quantity, then just check on the dipstick to see how full it is. So we'll just do the same here. I'm just going to start off by tipping in half this bottle. So this is a 600ml bottle. We'll just chuck in 300ml. Okay, we'll just let that sit for a bit and I'll just check the level. Now we're going to take our dipstick here and get an oil level reading of the motor. Now you'll see it's got two sides here. First side reads thread in to check. That means you need to thread in this dipstick all the way to get your oil level reading. Now if you don't thread it in, what will happen is the dipstick will show a lower level of oil than what is actually in the engine. So you can run the risk of overfilling it. And on this side it shows the full line and a message there, do not overfill. So basically we just want to fill it to this full line. Right, just see what reading we get here. So we'll just screw it all the way in. Okay, so we're not getting any reading there, so we'll just put some more oil in. So I'm just going to put another 100 moles in. Yep, that's looking good, so that's the oil change all done. Okay guys, that's the end of part one, the oil change in this lawnmower, so we've successfully gone through and changed the oil on this mower. Stay tuned for part two where we will look at the air filter and give it a clean, and in part three we're going to check the spark plug and sharpen the lawnmower blade. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you on the next video.